Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Desta on iOS and I'm gonna pick up where I left off. Let's see. I'm gonna stick with that. I don't know why. Switching oh. places with a friend or opponent could save my bacon. Nah. They never suspect the decoy. Hey, Desto! Shall we? Nice one! So you came back, Desta? After all this time? That voice... Mila... Oh, Lord. Now you see me? Uh-oh. Hmm. Perfect distraction. like how hard it is to get the angle right. Okay, she moved? What just happened? What the hell? Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Yeah. Ah. Hey! Over 
over there. Distraction. Come on! Rise up! That took way too long. I'm not sure I can keep up. It's all right. I'm here. I've learned a lot about this place and me. I mean, us. Seeing Neela here has really hit home. About my life, about everything. It was just one of those right person, wrong time moments, you know? I should take a breather. I need to get this right. Why is she knocked down? You though? rest. I'll think through what to say. I got this. Why is she knocked down? Uh, I don't... Thanks for helping me all this way, Desta. When were we the sentimental type? All these people we've met here, we're going to see all of them when the house sells. For the first time in a long time, I feel like I can confront some of these issues with people. If Neela doesn't bring me first, that is. Come on! 
Uh oh. Distraction. There's a lot of enemies. Why did that- when did he take damage? Okay, there are not a lot of balls. Healing. On. How does that count as being hit? Perfect distraction.
over there. I honestly thought you were going to kick off when I told you. Mate, I'm a progressive guy. I've even been known to order a glass of wine on occasion. <laughs> Lee, that's not quite... <laughs> Never mind. I'm just glad you're there for me. As I said, I might mess stuff up every now and again, but I'm with you always, mate. I hope the conversation goes this smoothly when I see you this week. A mate is a mate is a mate. Don't you forget that one. Aww. Oh boy. I'll give you the support you Let's need. Go. It's really good to see you. Can't say I feel the same. In fact, I don't feel much of anything about you at all. Right. Okay. You didn't feel that way the last time we were here. We were both in tears when we decided to break up. We both agreed it just wasn't the right time for us. You said right person, wrong time. Let me stop you there, Dester. I don't want to hear it. I've moved on. There's no point digging up the past. Do you really mean that? Or are you just my worries personified? There must be a part of you that wonders what could have been. No, now get out of my way. I'm supposed to be on stage in 15 minutes. Oh, it chose the wrong character. Shoot. Come on. Perfect distraction. What the hell was that? Seriously, what the hell was that?
This is a waste of time. Why did you bring me here? Because what we had was good. I was just in a bad place back then. I don't think you ever really wanted it to work out. It was easier to run away from it. She ends up damaged. I don't get it. Over it. No, what the hell? No, oh my god. God, why is there more? After Dad, I just lost the ability to open up, to be available for anyone. Maybe if you genuinely liked me, it would have been easier. It wasn't that. I don't think I could have been that person with anyone. What is happening? Ignoring the I want us to try again. I miss you. I've thought about you a lot since I left. What we could have had. You and me. We were good together. Uh, or at least we were until... Your dad passed. I know. I had my own demons as well. I think we were both bringing each other down. I felt like it could have worked. 
but I was just so sad all the time. I wasn't in the right place for a proper relationship. I guess I thought we were good, but I think we could have been something great. Do you feel the same? Desta, I'm just the Neela you remember. I'm not real. You should ask me in real life sometime. Yeah, I should. I will. You look like you could use a friend right now. How about I come along? I've got a feeling where I'm going next, I'm gonna need it. I hope you've been keeping up with your studies, dear. Well, I kind of tried the whole uni thing. I even went to study art. Wonderful. How did you do? Top of the class, I bet. I dropped out after the first year. I don't think formal education was my path. I'll let you into a secret. Frida Kahlo didn't go to art school. And neither did Thornton Dial. I've heard those names a thousand times from you. They're etched into my brain. Don't lose your passion. You don't need a piece of paper to prove that you're talented. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. The house isn't how I remember it. It's fractured, like it's falling apart. Deep down, I knew Mum would be at the end of this. Every conversation with her ends in a fight. Very clever brain. You're very clever. I get it. It's a good job you're doing this in your dreams first. If you confronted her this way in real life, she'd end you. That's why I've got to get this one right. I've got one last thing for you, but I don't think I've got anything left to offer after that. What do you mean? You've come so far, and you've learned so much. Maybe I'll finish it up, but I hope I don't fail, because I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to redo. This is like two and a half hours already. I'm not going to replay a three hour game just to see the end of I think you brought me here because I'm a part of you you didn't feel comfortable being just yet. But that's not the case anymore. Wait, no. I need you with me. Hmm, but you don't, mate. And that's awesome. You're the one guiding me at this point. I don't want you to go. It's okay. Seriously. I'm just you, remember? I'm part of you now. I guess there is one last thing I can give you. The least I can do is have you face Mum in style. Just remember, these conversations might not go as badly as you think. They love you. Thanks. For everything. Right. It's on me. And only me to talk to her. If I don't get this right, I'll lose the only family I've got left. Let's give it all we've got. Yeah, it's really stupid that after all this I could end up failing here. the shop. You don't care what I have to say even now. All you do is complain, Dester. You never look to find a solution. I can't believe I raised such a rude, ungrateful brat. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. That's what all this is about, right? Isn't that what you wanted? Your father and I wanted a loving, obedient child. We did everything for you. Do you know how hard I worked for this family? For you! Oh, I know. I know work meant more to you than being happy at home. Work kept you away. Away from me. Away from Dad. 
He might be alive if you weren't too focused on work to notice him getting sick. How dare you? How dare you talk to your own mother that way? Okay. Now you see me? Why is there a mirror? Oh my god. How was that? Okay, I don't get this. What is that thing she's wearing that I can't that I can't damage it? Maybe it's that thing? Distraction. My house, my rules. Hey, what is happening? from when I was a kid. Mom and me would sit in front of it as she plaited my hair. We'd talk about all sorts for hours. Things were different then. Losing your father was like losing a piece of myself. And I didn't want to lose both of you. Then why did you run away, Desta? How could you leave me behind? 
Okay, so I don't have to defeat her. I have to defeat the mirror or her stuff. Okay. Well, this is annoying. Come on! When you're spoken to. This is very annoying. Melissa Ward from Music Agent of the Year. She worried so much about how to tell Dad she was going back to work. In the end, she came to me for advice. I told her, just be honest with him. He loves you. I had to bear this pain by myself while you went off without a care in the world. I needed you. I needed you too, Mum. I needed your support, but you weren't there for me. That's why I left. You didn't need me. You made that a Abundantly clear. Ah, just end. I just want to see the end. Oh, fudge. Oh, shoot. Rise up.
Oh my god! things from my perspective. Dad wrote his final letters to Mum and me on this typewriter. It took six months before either of us had the courage to read them. But we were there for each other. We were the only ones that understood how each other felt. You don't know how this feels, Desta. How many rounds are there? This is ridiculous. Oh. I just want us to feel like a family again. I, I thought you'd had enough of me. That you wanted to be alone. Ever since you left, the house has been empty. I didn't want to leave you, Mum. I just didn't know how to deal with it all. I didn't know what to do either. Would you believe that? Even as a parent, sometimes you still feel like a child yourself. I felt lost. Uncertain. I'm here now, though. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, too. I'm sorry that I wasn't before. We spent so long fighting with each other through the pain, we'd forgotten we could help each other. Oh, please tell me there isn't more. Oh my god. I shouldn't have left you here when you were in such a bad way. And I shouldn't have taken my frustration out on you. Still don't mean I forgive you for selling the house, though. And I don't forgive you for spending so much time in your room since you got back. <laughs> it's only a house, though, right? I think we could both do with a fresh start. What? Are we just playing catch now? I'm sorry, Mum. I think we're just playing catch. I'm sorry, Desta. We're gonna be okay, right? We'll be a family again. I think so. It's not gonna be the same without him, but I'll try my best. I'll be right there beside you. I just wonder, will you feel the same when I wake up? You've come this far. I think deep down, you know the answer to that question. Love you, Mum. Love you too, Desta. some stuff I need to tell you. Okay. That was nice, but seriously, if I would have failed at some point in this run, I would not have restarted. It doesn't even make sense that it's a roguelite. It should just let you redo a chapter if you if you wake up, die, whatever you want to call it. Um, it makes absolutely no sense. Unless, I mean, I could understand giving you a like new game plus that makes it harder once you beat it, but you should not have to restart from the beginning if you mess up. That just makes no sense. I'm glad I managed to get through the game 
the second time without, uh, without failing, but it was like three hours long, my god. Well, who wants to redo that? Really? Who? I don't know. Usually roguelites, roguelikes, they're short games, so replaying makes sense. You, you keep trying to get a little further, but a uh, three hour run game does not make sense to <laughs> have it like this. I don't get why they did that, but... Um, still a cool game, but yeah, it would have been f felt really bad if I had to restart like an hour or two into the game. The first one I, f you know, was a half hour. It wasn't the end of the world, so I started over, but if I had gotten further and then died, eh, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, that's my main complaint. Like, I don't see why a three hour game needs to have all that. Just it's very weird. Um, I don't think that part of it was well thought out. Uh, oh, there's... Once, my dad tried shaking the bottle as hard as he could, but forgot to put the lid on. Mum and me couldn't stop laughing. It, that I don't know what the challenges are. Um, that seems to be everything. I don't know. I'm not gonna play it again. Uh, it's a cool game, but yeah, needs needs some work on the whole roguelite thing. Uh, but anyway, check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye bye.